The theory of gravitational waves is a very interesting history in relativity. You know, with Einstein, a couple of years after publishing uh, the theory of relativity, he wrote a paper you know, showing that it predicts gravitational waves. But then he, he flip-flopped over his career, um, and it took a long time before the theory, the theory community became comfortable with, yes, there are gravitational waves. But I think what really settled the issue was this, this Hulse-Taylor binary pulsar. So Hulse and Taylor discovered um, a, a binary a star system where one of the, the stars is a pulsar. Uh, and so we, can get, we get these very accurate pulses from it, um, which and essentially it's like a very, very accurate clock. And so if, you know, as it's pulsing, you can figure out the orbital period of the binary. And general relativity predicts that any, anything in orbit, so not just black holes, but stars and these pulsars emit gravitational waves. And because it's carrying away energy, the, the orbit spirals in. So just like with black holes, but these are much, much further apart and it's much, much slower. And so over the years, they were able to measure the, the orbital period and it, the decay was exactly as predicted by relativity. So Einstein's original 1918 quadrupole formula was right there in the data. But it matched the prediction so well, no other explanations could come up, uh, could explain that. And since then, several other you know, binary pulsar systems have been discovered that all show the same thing. So I think that told us that at least what's called a weak field of gravity. So you know, black holes are the dynamical strong field where you know, things are very, very different from what we experience here, or the little perturbations that the pulsar produces. So it at least told us that the weak field of relativity does actually have gravitational waves. So I think from that perspective, there was a, a pretty sure bet that gravitational waves existed. Um, but we had no idea about the black holes, binary black holes. Do they actually merge? You know, perhaps there's single black holes out there, and there was good evidence for that, but do they occur in binaries, and do they merge? And then is this strong field where you know, black holes or space-time is so twisted, it's collapsing in on itself to a singularity, um, which is, if you think of it, it's a, it's a ridiculous prediction. <laughs> so are there really places in the universe where that's happening? Um, and so that's sort of what, what the, the, the black hole collisions sort of showed us. And yes, it seems to be, and it actually is as described by Einstein's theory. Mm -hmm.